I'm Wes Wong, they call me the Malaysian Human Calculator, and I'm an alumni of Utah, and I graduated with Actuarial Science, and I still remember those years I came across the mental literacy, and which is a great movement by the Malaysian mental literacy movement, and which part of the organization in Utah, and it has given me, uh, given me so many knowledge and give, given me the opportunity to meet so many gurus and experts in the field. And today I'm here because uh, I received uh, an invitation from you guys, and it, it's my honor to be here. And I traveled to Kampa annually, and I saw that uh, the, the, the university in Kampa is just fantastic. And if you ask me uh, my experience in Utah during my university days, uh, it, it was really great because I met so many friends. And one thing that I want to highlight is that Utah has a group of fantastic lecturers and tutors. They are very supportive, and the content that they taught or they are teaching today is very applicable in the society. And I think these are the skills that we need in applying it in the society to, to solve the real world problem. About the World Mental Olympics, it was an awesome experience. But it, it happens just uh, through some coincident thought. Because uh, I was looking for a competition to test on my own mental literacy. It was just because my own interest. So I was Googling online. But I found that there is no open competition in Malaysia. But I found out Memorial, or we call it the World Mental Olympics, that is open to the world. So I was thinking, shall I uh, make, a, make a registration of it? So I just tried. I, I, I sent in my application and then they reply me and say yeah you, you, you are qualified so please go for it but I was hesitated uh, because I, I, I'm not sure what's my standard up to the level but my family my brothers they, they say no just, just go for it you have nothing to lose and it was just one and a half month before the competition. So I say, okay, let, let's do it. And we have one and a half month to train for it. And when I was there, the first day I say, oh, that's it. Because those people are too great. We should, uh, we're not able to get the prize we want. But I told myself, that's okay. I think what I have received or what I have gotten back is that I have so many friends. I have a very valuable experience. So when I participated in the competition, I just told myself, just do my best. Just do the best I could. And surprisingly, and without my expectation, I brought back the bronze medal. And it was a significant and quite a unbelievable moment. Right, about time management, I, I, I always remember one of my teacher that he taught me, he shared with me, he said, uh, use triple eight. We have 24 hours a day, so we break it into eight, eight, eight. So we have eight hours of sleeping time. And then uh, we have eight hours of, uh, of working uh, on your career. Or if you are a student, then it could be your, your, your study life. And another eight hours is the self-development. And the self-development is very important, especially in today's work, because uh, you, you need some advantages over others so that you stay competitive. And The, the next one definitely will be in the AI world. Uh, we, we see that in artificial intelligence world, that 
it, this is a big opportunity for us to tap into. So uh, we would like to tap into two. One is the education for uh, what is the education that we need for artificial intelligence century? What are the education we need for the parents? And we like to promote this to the parents. The other one is that uh, how do we implement the artificial intelligence technology uh, to fit into the industrial revolution? I believe everyone has a has their own key, and the, the life is beautiful. The, the next 10 years, 20 years is much more beautiful. And understand and find out what is your dream, and stay positive and optimistic, and approach it. But uh, tap into the trend means find out um, what is the opportunity in the dream that you want to want to pursue and most importantly how do you give back to the society after the dream so that will keep motivating you